It was the worst news I've ever heard in my life, and I will never forget that moment. I, I still can't believe it. A mother and father grieve the loss of their beloved son. 32-year-old Corey McGriff, known as DJ Megatron, was shot and killed last Sunday morning, and still no arrests have been made. His parents are desperate for answers. Yeah, that, that call that night, when my wife came upstairs and told me something had happened to Corey, I immediately started to pray. When I found out he was dead, you know, just, it makes you not want to go on with your own life. The McGriffs were a tight-knit family. Corey shared with his parents and brother a dream he had, to make enough money through his growing TV and radio career to buy back the Staten Island house he grew up in. This was home. This is the home they were raised in, Marlon and Corey. And this home meant a lot to him. In just a few moments, all his dreams were shattered. We all have an opportunity to make it in life if you just get out there and try, you know. And he was really trying to become something and do the, achieve all the things he wanted to do in life. Corey McGriff was loved by family, friends and industry peers alike. And they all have the same question on their minds. Why would a good man like Corey be gunned down here on Osgood Avenue, just doors away from his Staten Island home? Could it be a robbery gone wrong or a planned attack? Rest in peace, Corey Megatron. On behalf of the Staten Island Rough Riders, we love you. Megatron's brother says he was heading to the store that morning, talking on the phone to a friend named Justin. Justin heard Megatron stop to chat with some men about music. He said, uh, you know what, let me just get off the phone and let him you know, continue the conversation. And uh, I'll call him back or he'll call me back when he's done. And I would say maybe 1.30 in the morning, somewhere around that time. And uh, he got off the phone and he said he never spoke to him again. Candles still burn on Corey McGriff's shrine. Fresh flowers, his name in wax. And up the street, police surveillance. For him to have this tragic death like this, is, is it's sad, but it's not only sad for him and his family, it's sad for our entire community. All I want to say to the person that did this to Corey, how can you live with yourself? Please give yourself up, because I would just love to look in that person's face, and I want to know why. In Staten Island, I'm Sharon Carpenter, PIX11 News.